65 people in attendance. Today, there are considerably more. Iowa and Holy Cross. And then coming up next over on ESPN2, West Virginia and Princeton. The winners are... for Holy Cross, Carol McCormack and Brona Power Cassidy. Two names to watch. This is a team. Well, right away, Holy Cross coming out aggressive, trying to collapse on every drive. Marshall three. Walter with a rebound. Clark off the bounce, off the window. They had it Marist where she played 15 years ago. Juju Watkins at USC gets there more often. It's what great scorers do. They find ways. Here's Janelle Allen. Off the ball fake, off the bounce. Goes to the left hand and scores in the lane. And little and Holy Cross team. They're not going to force things. Great double on the block. But you see their patience and points and handling it. Foreman will Clark bumped. No foul. And now contact on Martin's drive. They are the overall number tournament behind undefeated front rims it here comes Clark Marshall gets a look and hits it Brona off the mark offensive rebound and a stick back and holy team the high scoring team in the country defensively Holy Cross doing a great job already forced three Caitlin Clark turn she's a terrific offensive rebounder I think their pace Scare got a couple of quick fouls now picked up on Lindsey Berger, number 35 in purple. And Bry, where the Holy Cross D has shown up early. Nice backdoor cut and a foul. To play Iowa men's game has been trying their hand at the Caitlin Clark mark. It's she makes it look easy. Really cool too for Lisa Bader to talk and she scored 32 per night. Only Cheryl Sweeps had a better tournament run. It was 11 threes, the most in the country. O'Grady from Marshall. Oh, they look a little good. O'Grady running the floor, rim to rim. Gabby Marshall, that pass is on the money, too. Gives her an easy... McCormack, Holy Cross has opened up one of six from beyond the arc. Short on the shot, and Allen... Martin... Hits the free throw. Has not attempted a free throw yet. It's not a team that... Nice cut. Martin may have gotten a piece of that. And the fifth. On ABC this year. With number one in undefeated South Carolina taking on North Carolina. Right back. And then in transition, there's nobody near. She can knock it down to a clip of... Final minute of this first quarter. She'll try for a back-to-back -back and yeah. get it. I mean, they're, they're just re -clock. Foreman staying right with her. Off the spin, the help comes and one! Right now, Iowa applying some pressure. Power Cassidy gets it up and gets it in! Her sister is hitting here early. And does she take credit for her shooting as well? Hey! <laughs> Five points, but also five turnovers. See if Iowa can take a little better care of the ball as Al point games, including the first ever 40 point. I will that up at the final four against South Carolina. Marshall on the inbounds from the three point line. Allen faces up. Knocked away and a foul. Here who needs to be on the floor consistently for the Hawkeyes. Kate Martin, she does keep touching the back of her head. Got a pretty hard hit there, but she just leaned in and told them. Information on tournament game times and networks, go to NCAA.com. Actually have more free throws made than field goals. Even with O'Grady missing two. Oh, Cassidy calling for a screen. Find some space and a foul called on Caitlin Clark. Group has been able to do for Iowa early in this ball game, and that's what's going to take them. Power Cassidy chips away. Denied by Holy Cross on the run. Ball fake. Allen O'Grady up. 
ball to Janelle Allen at that high post. Allow her to try to attack Addie O'Grady off the... And one for four offensively. And that is now the third foul on Janelle Allen. She'll have to... That's just a great read by some seniors that have been playing together out of rhythm. And spin it around to the other side of the floor. Martin got it back to her and then around the defender to O'Grady in a timeout, Holly. Yeah, a lot of confidence building in that last timeout for Lisa Bluter. She's reminding her team we see a great in cutting to get around them. Now, they are very good in their rotations as well. Caitlin here in the first half, and, and that's what it's going to take. And for Caitlin Clark to continue to trust them, to trust that the game is going to open up for her. The push. Sidestep for Taylor McKay for three. Step, step back. That's the specialty. You probably can't defend it any better than that. The hand first half. Oh, the through five, the versatility that they now have defensively. An offensive stand, the Mountaineers checking out the action. Game in a tough Big 12 conference against a very good team. Martin, back door from Clark. After 23 on Thursday night. Check in with Holly. I was she could just see things that other kids couldn't, and you saw that nice bounce pass. Sees things that can develop, and your teammates don't quite do it. Learning how to communicate that, articulate what you're seeing. That's been the her case with the officials. And at the free throw line for Caitlin Flass to 26% from the floor and 20. Clark, offensive foul. That's aimed for Janelle Allen, so two of their starters have to be very careful. Allen off the bounce, drives away. Stokey had two fouls in that first half. Martin the end one. The heart and soul of this team, the equalizer, so to speak. in the paint where she's been having her way. Martin on the inbounds. Rebound. Stick. Martin. Foul before she racked 23 points. And this, this has been a big in a Hawkeye team. The way that they can spread the floor, the way they can make you pay is Addison and Marshall have to be three-point shooting makers. And they are five for nine today, so that's better than 30%. Allen, double come. She drops it off for Foreman. Count it. And if that's... Well, the third foul on Clark here. 6-18 to go in the third quarter. Then they chip away at what was once a 20-point deficit. Green scoring, number one in assists, number two in field goal percentage, number one in most threes made. And there, has it knocked loose? Working on the smaller defender, triple teamed inside. Constantly talking about working on Jan Jensen, Lisa Bluter said, let us talk to the official, but she's not herself. Yeah, unfortunately for the Hawkeyes, her teammates have been picking up the slack. And look, we, we've seen a... This is the other way for Holy Cross. McCormack sidesteps the defender and hits the three. So a little bit of rhythm on the offensive end. They're not going to give up. They're going to continue to chip away, but you got to stay in the space and not... Clark off the crossover, goes to the left side and lays it up and in. Caitlin <laughs> Clark can play for a natty. They got to the championship game last year, lost at 1 o'clock with South Carolina, North Carolina. And then LSU will today was all chalk. Today, through the first five games, all this was a two-point game through the first ten minutes. It's been all Iowa since, and another rejection in possession. No, for Iowa, when the Hawkeyes have just been too much on the glass for the Crusaders. 
in this final minute of the third quarter. Hey, for the fourth straight year, in the NCAA championships. Well, Allen just picked up her. Working inside. Power Cassidy off glass. Crowd trying to pick up the energy. Clark gets the steal. And Caitlin with the lay-in. Another steal for Clark. Unopposed for the layup. In the zone, getting in the passing lane, and getting herself a couple of easy buckets. Out of it. Easier said than done when you've been playing with uh, at least a couple of these teammates to come together. But, but to your point, too, you know, Beth, talking about all, all of the things that this team has, has dealt with, he, you know, having to have security at the hotels, it's th this, this handling that throughout the course of this season, in addition to just the pressures of a basketball game. But boy, would a capper with a national championship really elevate the score. How entertaining it is, social media, these athletes allowing themselves to be seen. Maybe the last few minutes they'll be out there as the lead continues to balloon. But as Holly referenced this night on this incredible freshman class, Audie Cooks yesterday for Iowa State dropped the fresh starters. You come back and, and you've had the player of the year and a post player for eight straight years. Clark, assist to O'Grady. Got, got into some foul trouble. Got into some foul trouble early. Wasn't very aggressive on the offense. Rooting on their sister. Win the Patriot League. They win their game in the first four. And some well-deserved rest to get ready for Monday. Falters, they continue. today in their 255th game together and her family and what an opportunity they've had and the way they showed out certainly a great representation that will be a clash of opposites by the way on monday both yes. princeton and west virginia pride themselves with energy from the yale yes. men from their big ivy league upset yesterday watch caitlin and stay for the other caitlin That'll be over on ESPN 2 and a chance for... Well, you've got to feel good if you're Lisa Bleeder on a night where Pitman Clark didn't really have it going in terms of her shooting percentage. Mike here shortly. by the Crusaders, but too much Iowa Hawkeye. Monday night, it will be UConn against either Syracuse or Arizona. Six Eastern on ESPN, and we will follow that.